What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to yet another incredibly niche video. So of course, as usual, if you're looking for an answer, then this is probably the answer you're looking for. Though of course, if you didn't come searching for this, there's probably no use in watching it because it's so niche. Today, I was working on a project of mine, my account switcher over here, and I was busy making an installer with NSIS. Of course, if you're curious with this, it'll be linked in the description down below. While working on my NSIS build script over here, even while looking at examples and different places on Google, I was really stuck with this issue, which of course, you're probably also having if you search for this video. Basically, I set a header image, which is the image at the top right of the installer, and an image for the start of the installer on the welcome and finish page. Now, of course, all of these images need to be in the bitmap format, BMP. And of course, I use Affinity Photo for these images over here, and when I go to export them, you can see that there's no option for BSP files. Basically, I exported them as PNG as such. Then I closed that on my editor and I had a PNG image, both for the side banner and the header banner at the top. Then I went across to a PNG to bitmap converter. And when I go ahead and upload my actual picture files, then convert and download them, adding them back to my folder over here, replacing the existing ones, you'll see that things look as they should. I have two bitmap images, no idea why it opened with paint, into my installers. You can see that it runs through and it passes. Then I have the installer over here. Upon double clicking, clicking yes when prompted for admin, you'll see the banner image on the left is missing. Clicking next, the banner image at the top over here is also missing. Though of course this color does seem to work because that's part of the code. So what exactly is wrong here? Well, if you're having this exact issue, then this is the answer for you. If you've already converted your images to bitmap files and they're not working, you can try a different converter. Or one of the answers that I found online is that it needs to be a BMP2 file instead of just a BMP, though the actual file extension should still be BMP. Having a look at my little convert script over here, this is basically what I came out with. Using magic, I converted the PNG directly into a BMP2 format, image ending in .bmp. So with all that aside, if I delete the bitmap images, run the script, you'll see that I have two bitmap images once again. If I go back a folder and rebuild the actual installer, open it up, you can see that the image on the left works well and the image at the top works well as well. So this fixed it, but of course I've shown you how to do it and the script will be linked in the description down below. When you run the script, you'll probably get an error saying magic is not a recognized command. Well, what exactly is this? Well, this is an image converting piece of software. Image magic it display. Now, of course, this will be linked down below and I don't actually use this window over here. I use the command line version of it. How exactly this window works? No idea. But heading across to the download link for this, which will be in the description down below, you'll be taken to this page over here and you'll be a bit confused with what to do. Well, when you're on this page, simply click download in the top left and we'll have a bunch of releases, Unix binary, Mac OS X, iOS, and at the bottom, we have the Windows binary release. I didn't download this one over here at the very top. I downloaded this first one over here. What, what exactly is the difference between these first two? Not entirely sure. I just downloaded this one over here, though of course, downloading this one is probably also fine. For some reason, the HTTP one was far slower, but downloading from FTP worked very well. So downloading ImageMagic 7.0 static.exe, I'll put the installer on my desktop and run it. Though of course, wherever the installer is, it doesn't really matter. I'll accept the license agreement, next, next, and install it as such. Next, and I'll uncheck the readme because I won't be needing that. Then I'll have a shortcut on my desktop. I'll right click on it, open file location. But of course you can navigate to where you installed it yourself. Then what I'll do is I'll click in the file URL up here and copy this address. I'll press start and then type in path, edit the system environment variables and environment variables at the very bottom. Then in the bottom section, I'll scroll down to path and double click on it. Then we'll see a pop-up like this with a bunch of folders included in path. I'll scroll down to the bottom and you can see I've already added this. Though if you don't already have it added, click in new and paste it in as such. Though I'll be removing it because I have a duplicate there now. I'll hit OK, OK, OK. And why exactly did we add it to path? Well, a super simple reason. Inside of this program files folder over here, we have an exe called magic.exe. And if I were to go ahead and open up command prompt in whatever folder I need it in, 
such as this folder over here with my images in it. So I'll type in CMD, enter, and I type in M-A-G-I-C-K as such, you'll see that I get the response from the magic application in my program files folder, meaning that when I use it, it can easily work with the files in this folder. Looking at my script over here, basically how it works is you put in an input file and an output file. Though if you include a name like this and a colon, followed by the output file, it will go ahead and use this format over here. So all it really does is run this command, magic, the input image, bmp2 colon, output image dot bmp. After hitting enter, it'll show no response, but it will convert the image successfully. The colors may be slightly off. I'm not entirely sure what the difference between bmp and bmp2 is, though of course there is some sort of a difference because upon building it again and running it, the images actually show as you expect this time. But anyways, that's all this tutorial was here to show you. Hopefully you found some use out of this incredibly niche tutorial. And of course, links will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.